Welcome to the Darren Martin Show. My name is Darren Martin. And I'm Jabari King. And on today's episode, we have a jam-packed schedule. We have a AUC Spotlight with Emma J. As well as a, a feature with Mr. Todd Lee on I Wear Pink 2.0. So let's not waste any time. Let's get to our AUC news. <laughs> week of April and it is also AUC's 2015 sophomore week. This week you can expect events such as a kickoff jam on Wednesday, a trip to Six Flags on Friday, a community service initiative on Saturday, and a trip to Cascade as well as a praise fest on Sunday. This concludes our AUC news for the week. Stay tuned for the AUC student spotlight. <laughs> Agency School of Fashion. So um, the next 
next year in January, we started it. We started working with it. Mm -hmm. So we, we did it from probably about January to April, and we actually graduated in August um, 2013, 2012. Okay. So that's how I've been doing it. Cool. So I'm just bringing it forward. Sorry. I'm so, just a little curious. What is Cynthia like? Oh, yeah. Miss um, you know, t I feel like TV, you have to act a certain way on TV. Mm -hmm. We all know that. It's, you know, reality TV. Right. It's, it's scripted. It might be the same reality, but it's, it, it's also scripted. Right. Miss Cynthia is lovely. She's a down-to-earth person. She really cares about, you know, the students and the mm -hmm. people who come through her office. She is there. She taught our classes one-on-one. -on -one. So it wasn't like she just sent her assistants, who are lovely. I love them. Right. It wasn't like she just sent her assistants and people to come and teach her class. She's like, no, we have to move this class to this day because I'm not going to be here on wow. Tuesday. We need to move it to next Tuesday because I'm going to be here. Yeah. So she, she, she's nice. How often are your classes? Um, our classes were every Tuesday. So it, it was about maybe, it was supposed to be for six weeks, but it ended up kind of going a little longer, so maybe about 12 weeks. Okay. So every Tuesday. That's cool. So I guess fast forwarding today, to, I mean, to today and now. So, like, what do you have going on now? Are you still kind of working with the Bailey agency um, directly or, like, so what? Like, what um, right now, we actually, it was a, it's actually a school of fashion. So okay. it's not technically an agency just gotcha. yet, but I think that are, that are some things that's what she wants to do okay. in the future. Um, so right now, I do still do some things with them. If they have any casting calls, I'll go to it. I, I'm still, I still kind of work with them. Because okay. it's a connection. I believe you should always keep your connections. Um, I actually have a show coming up for House of the Dream, which is off of Peter Street. That's oh, actually wow. going to be next Saturday, March 30th. Okay. So that's going to be something coming up. And for this summer, I'm actually going to New York again and going to L.A. So definitely the chasing my dream. She better. Because this is something that I really want to do. Exactly. My life is my passion. I love school and all, but I'm young in the industry. You have to get in while you're young. Because right. I can't right. wait until I'm 22 trying to break into the industry. Mm. It happens for some, but that's like one out of a million. Exactly. So I want to I wanna go now. I feel like school is always going to be here. True. But this modeling opportunity isn't because of that's, the age. That's so true. Yeah, definitely on a good path yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. And I, you're from New York. I am. So are you going to be there this summer? I'm going to be in L.A. L.A.? I what? Turn up. I know. Well, I'm, I'm going to let you know when I'm there. And then we might get together. And it won't be cold. It won't be cold. It so won't be cold in L.A. LA. So New York is beautiful in the summer. Definitely, yeah. definitely. And also, y'all can be looking out for Emma as the host um, of the 2015 Awards. <laughs> She's like just now finding out. So right she's now. a student. She's a model. She's a. She's a host. Oh, she's she gonna walk out to the 2015 awards looking bad and sickly like oh, always. Oh my god! I can't wear this fur. Oh goodness! <laughs> I can't. All right. Well, it was nice talking to you. It was, I, 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 I love you all. Thank you so much. First met you. I just, I just felt your spirit when you came into LLC. You're in a place LLC. Aww, definitely. All right. Well, that's it for today, y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Bye. My parents say I have to be home right after work. Oh, that's so gay. Totally gay. That is so Emma and Julia. Imagine if who you are were used as an insult. When you say that's so gay, do you realize what you say? Knock it off. When you talk about a story from tragedy to triumph, you should think of Mr. Todd Lee, but specifically his mother. She has became an inspiration to him, and he has became an inspiration to us. He has taken a story of breast cancer and turned it into an, an awareness event that has been going strong for three years straight. Let's take a look at I Wear Pink 2. Mr. Todd Lee, residential director for the Office of Housing and Residential Life, as well as the founder of the great event, I Wear Pink. So let's, uh, Mr. Lee, please tell us about our pink and our pink 2.0. Okay. Well, the premise is my senior year at Albany State University, I was homecoming as well as senior class president and a resident advisor. My mom was diagnosed with breast cancer and lymphoma, and that really took a toll on me. My original platform was Lifting As We Climb, raising $1,000 for incoming freshmen. I did that successfully within about a month, so I changed my platform to Relay for Life. We end up raising a little over $9,000 and being the top selling HBCU. So when I began at Morehouse, I wanted to get involved in a student-led initiative for breast cancer. I saw that there wasn't one, so I just decided to do my own event. Last year, I Wear Pink, we raised $1,400 selling raffle tickets for the American Cancer Society. And this year, I just want to double everything, which is why it's called I Wear Pink 2.0.
Okay, so let's talk about the many smaller events that's leading up to the event on April 16th. Is that correct? April yes. 16th. Um, the uh, Coins for Cancer uh, was a, an event that was on Brown Street that included many different organizations. What made you think of this smaller event in light of the Big Power Pink 2 event? Okay, well, the event was actually called the AUCY Coin Day, mm -hmm. and basically we wanted to do an event that would encompass Spelman, Morehouse, as well as Clark Atlanta University, and that wasn't my idea exactly. Um, I've been very blessed with having a successful street team, getting students from the three different campuses, and getting them involved in basically the buy-in of breast cancer. The AUCY Coin Day was actually the idea of Alex Dansby and Reginald Jones, and they just had a vision to have different organizations competing to raise money, and whoever, well, excuse me, whoever won would get a party at Hooters. I teamed up with Hooters, what we're calling the Hooters for Hooters, and they gave the winning organization a wing party for their chapter. So we contacted different Greek organizations as well as some campus queens and my mentee, Reginald McCrimmon, he's Mr. Sophomore, and as well as Vinny, who is a co-host of the show, is on his court. And they basically got together. Um, third place went to the Noops Pie Chapter of Morehouse. They raised $70 in coins. Second place went to 2015 and the Reach and the, the Mr. Sopo yes, Court. Reach. They raised $92. And then 5 Mu Alpha Symphonia, they raised $166. Wow, that's good. So when you talk about the event, um, I Wear Pink 2 event, it has a lot of sponsors. Um, Casa Pink Wars, which was in uh, Hump Wednesday, uh, that was taken over by I Wear Pink 2, had a lot of people there. Um, it also was sponsored by a lot of companies. So tell us a little bit about the companies that sponsored you. Or the okay. Group. Well, um, I first want to thank Casa for letting us team up. It was I Wear Pink 2 as well as Water Wars. Um, like I said, Reggie, his best friend is Scooter, so I definitely support Water Wars and the movement and what they're trying to do through the Pre-Alumni Association. One of my biggest financial supporters is the Wright Group, and they fund OHRL. They do programming for domestic violence against women, as well as health initiatives. Last semester, we did the World AIDS Day. We did Love Taps with Q from Day 26, and they also fund Denim Day for HBCUs. Um, the Chi Chapter of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, they gave me some funding for t-shirts. The SGA Senate, they gave me some money, which was where I was able to give food and some different prizes. I have Hooters, I have Olive Garden, I have Seven Jeans, I have Chevron, I have, we have Cadillac now on board. I don't know if you all were there, but at Pink Wednesday, there was a Cadillac ATS to promote students with safe driving and getting their parents to buy Cadillacs. So overall, it's been a lot of buy-in. My goal for Pink Wednesday was to have about four or 500 students. And when we looked at the sign-in sheets, 871 students signed in. 871. All right, so let's talk about the catalyst of this whole thing, your mother. Yes. Your mother comes to, made, uh, uh, she was at the Casa Pink Board. And what, what, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know that she's had, uh, happy and she's so proud of you. But what does, uh, does she say to you sometimes when you're doing this on a bigger scale from you know your uh, senior year in college to now, you sustained it for so long. What did she say? Um, my mom, she doesn't say much about the events. She tells me a lot of times how she's proud of me, but honestly, like my mother is the prototype of me. Like I tell people that all the time. Like my mother is the most genuine person I've ever met. She's the most humble person I've ever met. She's just, like my mother is the most amazing person I've ever met. So, I feel like for her to give her life up for me, she had me when she was in high school. I'm sure there was a lot of things that she wanted to do, but I feel like that's what I have to do to make her up. And since, like I said, I was hit really hard where I had a form of breast cancer, and at the time, the doctor said she was going to die within about six months. So we was almost preparing for her death. So I just really, the fact that she's still here and I can take pictures of her, the fact that she can come to Pink Wednesday, the fact that, you know, I didn't have to adopt my little sisters and brothers, that's pretty much the driving force. And I think that she's an inspiration to you, but as, as, us as well, especially seeing her at many different events and uh, seeing her overcome and seeing how proud you are of your mother in that. Um, so thank you for sharing. Wow. So I hope that you learned a lot about I Wear Pink 2.0 and you support Mr. Todd Lee and his mother. And I hope that you learned more about Emma J and how she's making strides towards her career at such a young age. So 
you can you you can see all episodes of the Darren Martin Show as well as full interviews at youtube.com slash user slash the Darren Martin Show. Thank you and have a great day.